Hi folks, this is Adrian. I just returned from my trip to the Fall Summit or what is called Ships Pro. Very nice trip. I met uh, four other people, two couples. One uh, person, Ryan, he said he knew my YouTube channel, which is awesome. Hi, if you if you are watching the video, hi Ryan. So you, I parked here just before the bridge because uh, there were already four cars in a small parking lot there and then I walk up to this opening and uh, heading up in a forest it was quite nice not a very dense area and I kind of stick to the ridge most of the time there were some fallen logs but on either side very minimal where I was walking but what's odd is uh, once once uh, the transition between dry and deep snow is really short luckily however uh, Mike and Liz from uh, Facebook they, they did last week an ascent all the way to the very summit and these four guys also they made uh, without snowshoes uh, they were doing a post holing in a snow so I had uh, with my snowshoes quite easy to follow up I recorded them uh, both couples along the way on their descent and I filmed them when they were on a summit of this fall summit uh, you have very nice view of the three sisters from the first summit and later on as well also you can see highway 1 Lake Ducks, Dead Man's Flats, and uh, I can't remember. No, I didn't see Canmore, it was blocked. But I saw this uh, Goat's Pond, I believe it's called. What else? Uh, yeah, highly recommended uh, and as I mentioned a video when I might return I should try a direct route to the summit here instead of coming this way, just straight up the gully when it's dry all the way to the summit I think it should be a viable option Mount Lawrence Grassy is next to it, I climbed it a video of course and uh, Spray Lakes Road on the opposite side you can see some mountains here familiar peaks let's see yeah in any case uh, this is the intro so I have great footage coming up. The only wildlife I saw was a loon on a, on a canal here and uh, some squirrels and one bird that took off I couldn't film. I filmed the one squirrel at some point. There were several of them. So yeah.
that is a Ships Pro. On the right is a false summit, on the left is a true summit. And then uh, further left is Mount Lawrence Grassy, which I climbed in before. Our, uh, playlist. I'm supposed to go up from here. Looks like there is uh, some opening in a forest there. Sort of. I might try to go that way. <laughs> or even further right, I see a, a better opening. Yeah, so uh, I parked on the right side of this dam canal. That's the avalanche I saw when I arrived. There is a, was a natural slab. And uh, I shall start heading up now. Let's see how it goes. A group, I think, is descending from the ridge. The snow is already insane. Even with snowshoes that I have in my backpack, I'll be having some difficult time continuing. It's still a long ways. So far, uh, I have uh, had a broken trail. Maybe the same group, maybe others, because, I don't know, it doesn't seem like uh, that many footprints, but it has to be. I don't think there is any other way to get except through here. We'll figure out later. Yeah, they are on a full summit. Yeah, I'm gonna put my snowshoes now. It's a little sunny. I can see absolutely nothing in on my screen. But I see some people on a ridge descending. And uh, to see how the angle of the sun is is melting the snow. Look at the comparison here. Here is dry. Well, actually, a shadow because there are no trees also. Down is a canal. It's a beautiful pond. I parked just uh, where you see some cars there. No, actually I'm wrong, not there. It's over there. That's where the bridge is. And then I came straight up here. A little bit of zigzagging. Yeah, it's still uh, wet snow. Ooh, the sun is strong now. I gotta put my sunglasses in a minute. Wow. Oh. 
Yeah, I still see those people on the ridge, but I can't zoom. Like I said, it's uh, sun reflecting in my small monitor here. So yeah, I shall continue with my uh, snowshoes. Oh, I see some people on this slope. Hopefully I can get them on a the camera. It's another group or... Uh, hmm, I wish I could see. Yeah. You guys made the true summit. Not the true one. Oh, not the true so one. So you can see over there. There's that little rock cornice. Yeah. We made it to that one. The true summit's over there. But there's just too much snow. Yeah. But you're just the uh, the two of you. Uh, there's two of us and there's two other people over there. Three. There's uh, four people in total. Four more. Two more. So did they made a summit? The truth. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. I didn't see footprints from dogs. Oh, yeah, actually, I may be, yeah. I remember now. Yeah, I brought my snowshoes, 25-inch snowshoes, so they really help. But, uh, do you know, so from here to the fall summit, how far? Um, from those rocks right there, it took us an hour to get to the top. An hour? From there? To the fall summit? Well, like, the fall summit took us 40 minutes. Okay, but you said you didn't go to the top. Well, like, not... So, we're to the rock cornice. From here, it'll probably take you an hour and a half. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna do it. I'll probably go to the full summit only. Yeah. Because it's uh, 420. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I might have time, but I don't know if I have... Yeah. Well, there's like, there's three summits almost. Wow. There's like that one that's over there. The but that one is Lawrence Grassi. That the second one or this one? Which one is Lawrence Grassi? Uh, I think the second one, like the far one. Oh, yeah. So this one here is a uh, true summit where you were. No, uh, see that rock face right there? Yeah. That one with all the snow covered. That's the true summit. If you look along it, go down the like the little saddle. To like that oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's where like the hiker summit is. Uh huh. So from here, I need snowshoes or is snow? Honestly, once you get to that rock, you're fine. Oh, so oh. from here it's all dry. Yeah. Like, perfect, that, perfect. You have no issues. No avalanche danger. No. Nothing, huh? No, like the deepest you get's over here, and this is all pretty much benchmark because of all the trees. As long as you don't go far over there, you'll be okay. You guys from where? Calgary. Calgary. Yeah, me too. Yeah? Yeah, I got uh, Adrian Calgary. I'll put, uh, hopefully, on my YouTube channel, Adrian Calgary, so you can see it later if you want. Oh, awesome. So what's your name? I'm Mitchell. That's Chelsea. Hi. Uh, sorry? Mitchell. Mitchell. And? Chelsea. Chelsea. Nice to meet you guys. Nice to meet you too. Alright, so you don't know those two guys, huh? No, we don't know them. Okay. They're really friendly. Yeah. <laughs> Are you guys on uh, Facebook uh, scrambling group or? Uh, I'm on Backcountry YYC. Okay. Well, that's for like splitboard mostly. Like avalanche. Alright. Well, so. Are you waiting for the other guys? No? Okay, have a safe descent. Now you should have even easier descent on the snow because of my snowshoes, eh? Yeah. 
Hopefully I made some pressure on uh, snow. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, hopefully. And, uh... Yeah. I don't know. So I shouldn't have any problems, huh? It's all straightforward, eh? No, it's... Awesome. It's tracks the whole way from here onwards. Because, like, there's snow, but maybe, like, two, three inches deep. Yeah, it's not bad. Awesome. That's what I like. All right, cheers, Mitchell, and yeah, thank you. So I talked with uh, Ryan and uh, Sam and they told me, they clarified for me from those three high points, one is a full summit, then it's uh, the hiker summit and then the true summit and uh, the four of them, they went to the second summit which is uh, the true summit. sun melting it and actually I'm going to get uh, some uh, water they told me this is probably the only spot where I could get water before uh, I mean higher up is not gonna be available so I may as well do just that so yeah uh, I'm gonna get water and then uh, speed up to see if I can make it to the 
impulso